All right, so here we go. I have a glass here. So I'm just going to take my ladle and you want to give it a little stir before you go and ladle it into your glass because what's going to happen is all the air that's in it is going to hit the surface and float upwards. So let me bring my glass over here and I'll fill it up. And the neat thing about that though is that it puts this great foamy head on top of your glass that you can see is very, very resistant to uh, to movement, I would say. So it's almost like having like a little like espresso or cappuccino in that respect, or rather cappuccino than espresso. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that little bit of cinnamon I've got, sprinkle that on there. I've also got a little bit of nutmeg here. I'm gonna sprinkle some of that on top as well. And obviously you could put both of these in the in the uh, mixture, but I think it's a better better served such as this. Now you could, a uh, couple of changes to the recipe you could do. You could obviously, um, you could, well, this isn't supposed to be served warm. You could serve it over ice, which is uh, nice and refreshing, especially if you wanted to have it, uh, if you're uh, living a more warmer part of the country, a more temperate part of the country, such as I do. Uh, you know, it could be December and it could be 75 degrees outside. So this is still a good way to serve eggnog, you know, with, over ice. Serve it really, really cold, and that way you won't, you'll still get that Christmas holiday spirit, but at the same time, you're not actually stuck with drinking, um, you know, eggnog and feeling it's kind of gross because it's 75 degrees outside. Uh, something else you can do, you can swap out the rum for cognac, or you can swap out the rum for uh, for bourbon as well, or any other kind of whiskey that's your preference. Uh, you can also make it non-alcoholic. Keep in mind, though, that the vanilla has alcohol in it, and if you're going to do that, you're going to want to use uh, de-alcoholized vanilla. Usually the imitation stuff doesn't have alcohol in it, and you're also going to want to go with something else for a seasoning, maybe like a, uh, maybe go ahead and put the cinnamon and nutmeg right into it if you want to go without the alcohol. So, because the alcohol does provide some of the flavor. So, as you can see, the head on it's really nice and stiff, doesn't move too much. Uh, it's a really great drink, nice and refreshing, good holiday drink. Anyway, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video and look for more videos on Expert Village. And I'll hope you enjoyed the uh, eggnog.